Hi, this is a review for the Volpe's Training Blades version of the Schrade Priscilla Brush Sword. I think I got that right. <laughs> uh, and I wanted to cover this particular uh, training blade because I think it's a little bit different than sort of what's normal in the, in the uh, uh, market right now. A little bit of background. I've been making training blades for a long time. Uh, in 2012, I started making uh, training blades. I put out a, a do-it-yourself lesson on a couple of the, uh, you know, like Filipino martial arts forums and whatnot at the time. Uh, and so I'm pretty familiar with training blades. I make them for my student. I think they're really important uh, for a student development to understand if you're doing a Filipino martial art or any martial art that is trying to do a sword that you don't, you know, only have reference to a stick. Uh, this and and so and then this now in my hand right now is actually something I whipped up again I've been making I've been making these a, a long time so I wanted kind of a um, sort of industry standard version of this that I could compare to the Volpe's training blade and so this took me like literally 10 minutes in the garage last night uh, if a student starts out with something like this this is a massive step up it has an edge it has a flat Right, I understand. You know, I, I understand my edge orientation. Everything is a lot easier, and it's weighted more like a sword. Right, this thing is probably six ounces at this particular size. Right, uh, this is twice that uh, for for weight. Uh, so that's you know that's a that's a good thing. Um, this is a great training tool for a beginner, and I will often give a beginning student one of these when they're in their session, so that they start getting a better feel for the edge and the flat. That said, at some point in your training, uh, and, and, and again, good representation. Um, uh, and, oh, and I'm gonna say that I'm a huge fan of polymer training swords. Uh, polymer, plastic, polypropylene, HDPE, nylon, they all have sort of different uh, uh, pluses and minuses. For a long time, aluminum training swords were uh, kind of cool because they looked like metal, right? Um, uh, they, they, they moved, uh, you know, they look, fancy, they're kind of, you know, broad, you still couldn't really spar with them. The only people I know who regularly spar with light armor with aluminum training swords are Dog Brothers, and that's because they're kind of odd. Um, and uh, there's dangers in using uh, aluminum training blades against each other. You can develop burrs and not know it, and then those become sharp and cut people. And so there's a lot of maintenance that goes along with those if you're using them against other weapons. Uh, they're not necessarily balanced any better. And so uh, for all those reasons, I've moved that if I'm going to use a metal weapon, I will use either a dulled machete or some other equivalent. Um, and then if we're going to spar with those metal weapons, we have appropriate safety gear uh, for that. And, but that is a massive step up if you're going to actually spar with that. So a nice intermediate step in that is, is uh, polypropylene or uh, polymer. Um, training blades, which are sort of fit this intermediate spot between rattan, which is a great sparring weapon, uh, and steel. Um, so, yeah, so anyway, I'm a huge fan of training blades. I think they're super important for training. So where does the, uh, right, for, and from a distance, the Volpes, which is now this one, compared to this one, right? I, again, this took me 10 minutes in the garage last night. If I wanted to make this kind of uh, similar to a Purple Heart Armory offering or something like that, um, I would put a, a, a polymer, or sorry, uh, um, uh, a wrap on the end, but I just needed this to, to give you a feel for what it is. Um, in comparison, they book, both look the same. The stock on this, and this is standard, again, sort of standard in the industry, is half inch uh, polymer. So either um, Purple Heart, which is something like this here, you can kind of see the, the edge thickness on that one, uh, half inch, uh, similar to like uh, uh, Native Blades and, um, and uh, Blood and Bones and some other of the, these producers out there. Um, anyway, they're all kind of the same thing, half inch uh, stock, sort of cut out, uh, I've heard the term cookie cutter. On it, and that's fine. It's you know it is what it is. This you know this is a, a quick simple thing. Again, it gives you an edge and a flat, and it's a massive improvement over a stick. The Volpe's training blade is a little bit different of an offering than what I've seen from most people out there. Uh, so stock-wise, it uses a three-quarter inch stock. I don't know if you can see that very well. So it's definitely thicker, right? You can see 
those lines up right. All right, that's, that's, it's a half a Guinness thick on the base. And that lets him do some interesting different things here. Um, so I'm going to put away my version of the weapon and compare that against the original. Okay, so this is the Schrade Priscilla brush sword, I believe is what they call it. Um, and this is the, the Volpe's uh, training sword. It overlaps well. If I was to, to overlap that, it's, the profile is essentially identical, um, really. So it, it fits in the hand well. The width of the handles are the same here. Uh, what's different is this is sort of a rubberized uh, coating around the, the tang here, and obviously he can't do that here, but what he's done on the, the handles is put in, for lack of a better term, jimping uh, along the side here, and that really provides a nice grip on here um, the, uh, to, to secure that in. Uh, the, this is obviously similar to both. That handle design really secures that in that grip like a lot of Filipino swords and gives you a really good grip. That's more of a function of the overall sword design rather than the training blade, but it feels really good in the hand. Weight-wise, and I didn't bring my scale, but this thing is probably 85 to 90 percent of the weight of this. It's not the same weight. It's a little bit lighter. Uh, but what he's done with this is um, this is not a cookie cutter design. This is, uh, he, you can see on the blade, right, you, you can see that false edge and then this actual bevel, front end bevel. The blade, it's the, the blade edge itself, if you can see, that flat right there is about a quarter inch. Um, so thinner, like I right, said, so again, the, the standard on these would be like a half inch and then you, you lose a little bit of rounding off, off of the edges on here. So the, this has a blade that's about a quarter inch. So um, if you were sparring with this, uh, it's going to focus the impact down a, a little bit finer than, uh, than these would. There's, these would split and that one is going to hit a little harder regardless of weight, just on sort of focusing um, the energy onto a narrower spot. So that's one thing about it. But uh, what, the, what the forming on the blade is, and because this thing does not have a false edge, right? So he's, um, you can see the sort of blade shape there. Uh, so he, but he's, uh, the, the owner of Volpe's Training, um, Shionak, Shionak, I'm gonna butcher that name, I, my Gaelic isn't great. <laughs> uh, Anyway, um, he's used that to be able to pull his balance point to where he wants it. The balance point on this training blade is not identical to the, uh, to the Schrade. Um, it's about an inch forward, but what that has done is that has given a lighter weapon a very similar feel to the actual weapon. Uh, again, this is probably 85, 90% of the, the weight of this. I can feel the difference on it but it's really close in handling. And, and that balance point, I think, is, is what did the trick on there. If he had just sort of cookie-cuttered it and made it the same, that the, the lesser weight would be a lot more obvious. Um, it, so it handles very similar because that balance point moved forward and that sort of gives it that little bit of extra feel of weight in the hand and really makes up for it. I'm not saying they're identical in feel, but they're really close. Uh, the weight, this thing, again, is probably 85, 90% of the weight of this. This, uh, my sort of, you know, uh, quick, quick one off on, on this one is probably a third of the weight, you know, probably 35%, something like that. It's really light in comparison. And that can have its benefits for like a new student, uh, but if you're really looking for something to try to mimic your blade, this comes far closer than uh, the other one did. So, um, so what, you know, now let's talk sort of price points on this, okay? If uh, this cost me $65, um, and so uh, good, uh, good price for a training sword, okay? But if I compare it, certainly, right, so this rattan stick is a $5 training item. Just, so let's talk economics. $5 training item, okay? Uh, for me, this costs just a little bit of time. If I was to buy this on the market, probably the, the cheapest equivalent on the market is uh, Purple Heart Armory. Um, these would run, call it $30, okay? So then this is the Volpe's, this runs 65. Uh, why should I pay for twice the amount of this to this? 
and not and probably not for every student. Um, to me, this Volpe's is for the discerning practitioner, the intermediate to advanced practitioner that really is looking for something that gives them the feel, the actual weapon. This is a approximation, and it's a better, it's a far better approximation than the stick is. This is much more like the weapon. Okay, and so if you are going to be using the training and you know sort of sports specific training or weapon specific training is important to you, this is going to get you far closer and in the game than the, the sort of the standard training blade that's out there right now. Um, and yeah, so like I, I think it's a good product. Uh, I kind of you might have seen some of the um, damage isn't the right word because. Um, I, I was sort of testing these against each other earlier and just trying to see. Um, I know what the material on, on my training blade is. This is a, a Starboard is the, is the product name for the half inch uh, polymer. Uh, it's a marine grade HDPE. Um, and I don't know what um, uh, Shadon, uh, Shadonok, I'm, again, I'm gonna kill that name, uh, used for it, but it seems at least equivalently as tough. So, you know, uh, oh, one thing about polymer swords, I'm not saying they're indestructible, they're really damn tough, okay? I have broken polymer training swords before. Um, it took some work. Uh, yeah, look at that. Actually, that's really interesting. So that repeated striking on one spot on my sword, I don't know if anything. And I'm starting to start actually delamming um, right there on the edge, right there and right there. And that's actually a, a problem that I've had on, on some of my training blades. Uh, again, I've broken these before. Where they, and when they broke, they didn't snap. They actually delaminated. Um, and that uh, usually lateral flexing on it that, that caused the damage. I'm actually starting to see some of that damage on there. So I'm going to keep going with this. Um, if I went over to here in comparison, I'm not saying that you should be doing this, but it's actually a somewhat interesting test. This is actually hurting my hand on that jimping. Hmm. Anyway, I might have to blow this thing up later just to see what happens with it. But yeah, it's, uh, those, those, those delaminated points are actually getting worse, and I don't, I don't know. There it goes. You can see it right there. Yeah, you can, you can see that. Anyway, um, if I went to the edge equivalent here, part of this is thicker stock, and it might be actual material as well. So that's super interesting. Um, right. I'm not seeing any real damage. I mean, you're seeing rounding, right? That, that's just compression on the, on the uh, polymer right there, and that's normal. That's what you expect. And, you know, that level of uh, damage is unusual in training, so I wouldn't expect it to be common. Uh, but it's interesting that that damage started as relatively quickly as it is, because that was, a, again, a new training sword. So anyway, tough, uh, tough sword. Um, I, you know, again, I don't need to break a two by four with it. I, uh, um, it's not designed for that, but it's a really tough little sword. Uh, it feels like a sword. It, and again, I think this is for like that discerning practitioner who's looking for a little bit more out of their training sword than you know just a, a cut out of a out of a, um, a uh, blah, cutting board. <laughs> so anyway, um, great product. Totally recommend it. Uh, nice job. <laughs>